Good afternoon City Church, I'm Jo, I'm part of the Cotton site and today I'm joined by my sister Katie who is a missionary in Brazil. I thought it would be interesting to hear a little bit from her. So um, thank you Katie for joining us. Hey City Church Bristol, nice to be with you. Um, so Katie, I just thought maybe you could start by just sharing a little bit about why you're in Brazil, what took you there. You're um, 23, quite a different thing to be doing at that, at that young age. So could you just tell us a little bit about why you're in Brazil? Yeah, so um, since I was a young teenager, God put on my heart to go to the nations and serve the people who I guess most people would think of as forgotten and unseen and in the dark places in the world. Um, and as that calling burnt on my heart for a few years, um, it became clear that God was calling me specifically to Brazil. Um, and so that was when I was about 16 years old. Um, so I spent a long time dreaming and praying about that. And then I went to university in Exeter, um, did my degree. I was able to study Portuguese alongside um, my English degree, which meant I could already learn the language before I came out. And in October 2018, I moved here to Fortaleza, um, which is in the northeast of Brazil on the coast. Um, and I moved out with an organization called Iris Global, um, which is an organization that's set up by Heidi Baker, um, who works in Mozambique. And so I'm here with Iris Fortaleza. Um, we work in the red light district with prostitutes um, and in the um, favelas, which are the slums, the drug slums here in the city. Great. And how long have you been doing that? If you could just tell us. So it's kind of two years um, next month. And yeah, I moved here um, in the October and then in towards the end, in the December, God made it um, clear that he was calling me to, um, well, he's inviting me to move to live in the favela where we were working. Um, so our base is in the city center and um, about a 10 minute drive from the favela. And I felt God asking me to um, move to live here. So in the August last year, I moved um, to live here and the community is called Oitao. Um, and yeah, I moved to, moved to live here in the community. It's been such an adventure. Wow, that's amazing. Um, what does like, life look like for you? What are the kind of challenges that you face on a daily or weekly basis? Yeah, so I, I live here in, in the favela, um, which is a very poor, very deprived area, um, and it's run by the drug gangs, um, which are spread across Brazil. Um, as a whole nation so there's a lot of there's a lot of violence there's a lot of um, drug dealing going on and um, yeah it's heartbreaking situations all around families um, in very deprived situations and very very broken families um, so we we come in and well the base come in and um, I spend a lot of time doing house visits with people going to their houses and sitting with them and praying with them and encouraging them and being a neighbor, um, being a friend, and it's just, it's just wonderful. Um, and there's obviously all the challenges of living in another country um, with another language and living in a poor deprived area means that there's, um, there's just lack and challenges. Um, but I've just seen Jesus provide time and time again and God just come through with protection and provision. Um, and it's just an adventure with Jesus. That's so amazing to, amazing to hear and I think just really encouraging to see someone so clearly following what God's put on their heart even when maybe to other people or you know to those of us back in England that could look a little bit like reckless or just different. It's just so encouraging to see you really pursuing God and being obedient to his call no matter where it takes you. Um, if there was anything that you know a church in Bristol could be praying for for you what would that be like what what sort of things could you value prayer for? Yeah, so I thought about a few things. Um, and the first would be just in general for people in missions, people working as missionaries around the world. Um, something I've learned a lot about is the need for encouragement um, and just remembering that there are people all across the world in their own countries and in other countries um, who are in dark places and just praying that God would be encouraging them, that they would have churches and people around them encouraging and standing alongside them in prayer it makes honestly makes all the difference to to being 
here for me. Um, and specifically, I'd really appreciate prayer for the community here where I live, Oitao, um, for another level of breakthrough um, for people because people are very open here, very open to hear about Jesus, very open to pray. Um, but it's that, it's that surface level receiving in the moment, but not having much follow, follow through. Um, and we really believe as a base that there's spiritual warfare. Um, there's a lot of spiritual stuff around that. So we're just asking for prayer and asking for God to break breakthrough so that people can go to deeper levels with him and that we can see a true transformation in this place. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, I'm sure I don't just speak for myself when I say that I will definitely be praying for you, obviously, but um, I'm sure lots of other people here in Bristol would love to be praying for you too. Thanks so much, Katie, for sharing a little bit about you and what you're up to. Um, and thank you, everyone, for watching and for tuning in. And um, have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.